So this is the figure two from the test from October of last year. And uh, uh, questions from 37 to 46 refer to the phases of the moon. OK, so based on what she, we uh, said so far, question 37, when you are located at D, it is what? Sunrise, noon, sunset, or midnight? Hmm? Sunrise. So for 37, the correct answer is A. Next uh, question, 38. You can observe the waxing gibbous moon in the morning. Well, first, to answer that question, you first have to identify where the moon is when it's waxing gibbous. And you know it has to be between the first quarter and uh, the full moon. So waxing gibbous is somewhere in this range here. Typical position is shown by four. Now, where are you in the morning? What interval of time corresponds to the morning? between DNA, right? Between sunrise and noon. So a typical position in the morning, you are here and this is your horizon. You cannot see below your horizon. You can see above the horizon, but you cannot see in the morning you are, say, located here. You cannot see below your horizon. Clearly you cannot see the waxing gibbous moon, because you have Earth between you and the moon when it's waxing gibbous. So this statement is false. You cannot, in the morning, you cannot see the waxing gibbous because it is below your horizon. OK, the next one. You can observe the waning gibbous moon at the sunset. So again, you have to know where the moon is when it's waning gibbous. Two, where are you located when it's sunset for you? So where is a waning gibbous moon? This is a typical position, but in principle, waning gibbous is any position between the full and the third quarter. Okay? So the moon is when it's waning gibbous, it's somewhere here, between, six and, uh, between five and seven. The sunset, observer who, for whom it's sunset, is the one located at B, right? Because the sun is about to dip below his horizon. So this is the horizon for the observer for whom it is sunset. Clearly. The moon in its waning gibbous phase is below his horizon. He cannot see anything below his horizon. Therefore, he can't see. An observer at sunset cannot see the waning gibbous moon. So the answer here again is false. Now, when does uh, the full moon set? That is, when, when is it that you stop seeing the full moon? And the best way to analyze this is to look at what you see at different positions. So clearly, at midnight, when you are at sea, the full moon is overhead. So you can clearly see it, right? Then. In the interval of time between midnight and the dawn, or sunrise, I sometimes get a question if I use the dawn on the test instead of sunrise, I get a question, what is dawn? Well, sunrise. So at any moment between the midnight and the sunrise, right, if the observer is here, This is his horizon, and the full moon is above the horizon, and so on. But at the sunrise, the full moon is going to dip 
below the observer's horizon. Okay? So at midnight, it's overhead. I can see it from midnight to sunrise, and then at sunrise, it sets below the horizon in the west. Everything in the northern hem, well, everything, uh, uh, regardless whether it's the sun or a moon or a stars, if they rise, it rises in east, sets in the west, okay? So this, of course, is true, that the full moon sets at dawn or sunrise. Okay, so we uh, discussed the phases of the moon. Uh, what you see depends on the time of the day, uh, where you are, uh, and also on the location of the moon. Uh, the Earth, one should keep in mind that the Earth uh, revolves around its axis. Here is the North Pole uh, once every 24 hours. And it takes about a month uh, for the moon to go from one phase then to the same phase. So it takes a month from one new moon to another. OK, so let us look at uh, other questions from test uh, one. I'll try somehow to keep this diagram alive here. So, so the, the question 41 asks, the third quarter moon rises at. So first, uh, you have to know where the moon is when it's a third quarter. Where is the moon when it's a third quarter? Seven. OK, so when is it that uh, you start seeing it uh, for the first time? When does it rise? Can you see the third quarter at sunset? No, because at sunset, your horizon is here. Right? And uh, third quarter is below your horizon. Then the evening progresses. It's still below your horizon. But then at midnight, it appears in the eastern horizon. OK? So it pops up the third quarter moon above the horizon for an observer uh, for whom it's midnight. In order to draw a diagram like this, just like the one from your text that we looked at, things are not drawn to the scale. Okay? Uh, remember, the diameter of the Earth is about 13,000 kilometers. The size of the moon is a quarter of that. And the distance between the Earth and the Moon is nearly 400,000 kilometers. Okay? So the distance between the Moon and the Earth is not drawn to the scale. So think that these eight positions of the Moon are way out. Okay? So the third quarter, imagine it's right there. Even this does not correspond to the truth. OK? So as I move from sunset through the evening to the midnight, at the midnight, the th third quarter is going to pop above my horizon. OK? So then. Uh, the third quarter moon rises at midnight. When does the first quarter moon set? So the first quarter is directly overhead at the sunset, right? This is the location where the sun is setting in the west. And then as the evening progresses, as you move on the surface of the Earth, right, this is how your horizon changes. It's still above your horizon, right? But then when do you lose it? At midnight. Again, to see that clearly, you have to imagine 
that the first quarter is drawn way out there, and then just like I explained in the case of the third quarter, you would see that it dips below your horizon at midnight. So the first quarter uh, moon sets at midnight. So midnight is either the uh, rising time for the third quarter or the setting time for the first quarter. OK, now the easy one. When the moon is located at 2, which phase it is? You have options, waning crescent, waning gibbous, waxing crescent, waxing gibbous. Which one? Waxing crescent. Next question you, or statement. Is this statement true or false? You can observe the full moon in the afternoon. That's right, it's false because moon is at five when it's full moon. Afternoon is the period of time between noon and the sunset. And anywhere between noon and the sunset, the full moon is below uh, uh, the horizon, right? It rises at the sunset. You start seeing it, uh, but in the afternoon, strictly speaking, after the noon and before the sunset, you cannot see it. So the statement is false. OK, now a more difficult one, because uh, it's not a, 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 a fixed, uh, marked uh, position of the moon. Uh, waxing gibbous moon is anywhere between the first quarter and the full moon. Four is a sort of typical location. So the question is, the waxing gibbous moon sets at Sunset between sunset at midnight, at midnight between midnight and dawn, or sunrise. Um, so at sunset, the gibbous is above the horizon. In the evening, the interval of time between the sunset and midnight, it definitely is above the horizon. At midnight, it's still above the horizon. But at dawn, or sunrise, it is not. So somewhere between midnight and the dawn, I'm going to lose it. It's going to dip below the horizon, OK? So uh, the answer to question 45 is between midnight and dawn. And then again, the easy one, when the moon is at one, it is a full moon. True or false? False, of course. 